recording now. It's Saints Row side quest time. Lots and lots of side quests. You wanna do the collectibles first? The last clusters first? Mm -hmm. No, let's get the side quests out of the way. I'm looking at the like two and well really I'd call it an island and a half of clusters. Okay, so start from the top, nightfall. Yep. Might as well. I have a matter that could use your expertise. Care to elaborate? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. Details, Matt. I need details. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. Oh, great. Gotta fly by a hot spot. Can we really call it flying? Uh, can you think of anything better to call it? Uh huh. I'm here. Now if I could just stop. <laughs> the world's greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so. We must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. Hold on, my dog's being a pain. Rocky, stop. Ah, <sighs> the three count. You even got the smell right. That delicate balance of mildew and desperation. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. Fine. Just make sure this is awesome. Okay. Here comes trouble. This is the army of minions you mentioned? They're fucking zombies, Matt. You uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are exactly relevant to fighting Zinyak. So whose army is this, really? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, have you seriously pulled me into some Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sues and... So you do go trolling for that kind of thing? Well, of course I've read it! You've been working on this simulation for a while, haven't you? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retiring. So he set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, Matt. Sweet, silly Matt. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. <laughs> as with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. Shut up, I'm not judging. You're not? No, I totally am. But I'm not in the mood to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive! Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories! Yeah, that's the worst part about losing Earth, alright. I'm always happy to show off. Does this sound like the argument between me and you? What, about fan fiction? Yes. Considering you know how much I dislike fan fiction? Ah, I dislike stupid fan fiction. Good work, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you like the gun amusing? The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. I uh, should have known. Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on it! Oh, Matt. Poor, poor Matt. Is this his loyalty mission? Yes. I said start from the top, didn't I? Oh, God. <laughs> the loyalty missions are the most interesting. Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. Yeah, and you must it. be the protege yeah. I've heard so much about. Yep, that's me, all right. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but 
not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. This thing is way too big. <laughs> Get in the car. Can I steal the bike? Get in the car. I'm not driving. And why aren't you driving? Because I don't feel like it. <laughs> Onward! Toward battle! Uh, so, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. You think so, huh? At least a little bit? I'll give you the zombies, but don't push it. Well, I knew you were having a good time! So you really built this simulation for Asha? Originally? Yes. I wonder why she would reject such a masterpiece. Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Bummer. Paranormal bromance? Well, consider Matt and consider that asshole on the bike in front of us. Order. Blindsided while we look for the bad guy? Not bad, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So what's the Cyprian Order? I'm not exactly a Nightblade fan. The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. Okay, so the Cyprian Order hunts Nightblade even though he used to be with them? That's right. But Nightblade still fights vampires, right? Plus the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... better than expected. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Man, shut your damn door. Is this how you've been using your time Indoor since clothes. I freed you? It's, it's not based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. And how many of these did she ask you to build? I don't know, a dozen? Isn't that overkill? She likes to keep her skills honed. You going for a high score? Damn yeah, me. Asha is always in the simulation, I'm guessing. Uh, no. You remember so, we had to rescue her. So, Nightblade. Yeah, what but... What more is there? A girlfriend? A love interest? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter! A loner. A rebel. And no matter how many bloodsuckers he kills, he'll never again find love. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Oh, that's a pretty good line. One of the finest ever written. I disagree. Oh, Jesus. I disagree. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak, that's not good. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, don't go near him. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Don't go near him, Matt. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! Oh, Jesus. No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Oh, this is already so... You'll never fun. have me, vile assassin! This is terrible! Focus on the mission. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you yeah, stabbed friend. me <laughs> through the friend. heart. Uh, Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure, for this. It's not like we had any other reason okay, for wanting dead. Zinyak's head on a spike. You're not taking this seriously! I'd just rather not get killed over this, Matt. It's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry it had to go this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not finished. We're not? We're not done till you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The war goes on, Matt. The creatures of the night must be defeated. And you're just the person to take over for Franklin Knight. I'm so, hiding in the bushes. You do understand. 
Forgive me, Franklin Knight! I don't want to fight you, Nightblade! Hey, if it makes any difference... Yes? As planet Earth's sole surviving world leader, this must be within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise rights to the Nightblade property. You what? I do have one condition, though. Of course. Never stop. <laughs> Great. I don't recall if he did that last time. What? What are the missions? Uh, I did, uh... I remember doing, uh, the original three. I think you did, I, I remember you doing Shondi, but I don't think you ever did, like, Mats. I did Kings. I didn't do Mats. No, you didn't do Kings, we just did Kings, cause you No, did I did do Kings, though. I don't think I completed it, but I remember doing that stripper contest. <laughs> okay, what next? Shondi. <gasps> hey, that's really close. Boss, I need your help. Shandi? Everything okay? No, oh, told better. me she saw better. Hold on, let me tab the join you. I didn't think it still bothered me, but I'm actually Hold on, worried don't about activate this. it. Wait, you're worried about veteran close. child? I don't want him coming to try to kill me again. Again, again. Fuck it, you know what I mean. Can we just go kill him, please? You ready? I mean, considering this is an actual mission, I don't think it would have mattered too much. Uh, I don't think it'll... It's not letting me activate it. Well, let's see what happens when I do this. Alright, that works. Veteran Child's getting ready to give a DJ concert in the park. The last thing I want is him setting up shop and coming after me again. Which is why- Hey, hey! Chill. This'll just- Alright, uh, give me a second. moment. Which is why we need to score something to boost us up for killing that douchebag. There's deals going down around the city. We crash in, wipe out any resistance, and party with whatever they got. Trust me, this alien shit should give us an edge. Alright, we'll do the drug thing first, then deal with Veteran Child. Hold on, why are we listening to this burnout? Veteran Child is out there and you're gonna help her score drugs. Hey, I'm just trying to give us an edge. What's wrong with that? Okay, everybody chill the fuck out. We can do Young Shandy's drug thing first. Veteran Child's not going anywhere. Thank you. If you even think about calling me old Shandy, I am gonna shoot you. Ah, I thought I could get through there. This is the place. All right, let's clear ah. these guards out. Fine, whatever. The dealer ducked around the corner. <sighs> I swear, if we get killed before we even get to Veteran Child, I am gonna be pissed. What do you know about this stuff? Some alien created drug. Supposed to enhance your abilities on top of giving you a really wicked buzz. Right, just like you thought Loa Dust was gonna make you clairvoyant and invincible. I never did test that invincible part. Yeah. Make sure to get the package from the dealer. No mercy well, for let's give it a shot. That's interesting. Oh, God. What's interesting? This doesn't look like the right stuff. Yeah, this stuff doesn't seem to be doing anything. Damn it! This guy was selling a low-grade knockoff. Or maybe it just doesn't do anything, like I said. Hey, I'm the expert here, remember? Trust me, this wasn't what we're after. We'll give this thing one more shot. Then we're helping older Shandy. Cool mm -hmm. with me. My source says this next guy should be loaded with the right product. Then why'd we hit that last one at all? What's wrong with one and more? I hate myself. You're wound up way too tight. I am just trying to get our ex out of our lives for good. I thought that you'd at least appreciate that. I'm all for being serious about dealing with problems, but that doesn't mean giving up on having a little fun in the process. Well, not everyone can be like you. But you are me. Don't you see? We're the same. Not anymore. We've got nothing left in common. <sighs> that hurts. Oh, God. What? Well, I was God, trying to I'm pick so up the Shondies, but they stole one of the that Somdi cars. Oh, Jesus. And you, you know that's what they are. Yeah. No, oh, Jesus is what they're doing now. Holy... What? Right over here. Oh, well, you're too far away to see it. Yeah. Uh, holy shit, John D. You cannot drive for... Are they being stupid? Come see. 
Doesn't look like they're oh. happy to see me. And they teleport to you. They were driving into the wall of the highway and they're just like pretty much vertical. And still trying to drive that direction. Do we really have to do this? Girl, we've been shot, lit on fire, hit by cars, and now kidnapped by aliens. One of these days, we're not gonna get back up. And when that day comes, if we haven't gotten high on alien narcotics, we have not lived a life we can be proud of. Fine, I'll pass this shit. <laughs> 